In terms of infrastructure development in Asia, the Philippines is an interesting case with the ongoing build, build, build program going on. As part of the Philippine government's efforts to upgrade and open up new infrastructure projects. And these developments cannot come sooner enough for travelers to and from the Philippines, especially for residents of Manila. And while Clark in Pampanga has become the alternative choice for travelers, Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport still remains the top airport of choice for Manila travelers. And the new Manila International Airport in Bulacan will be in construction for the next few years until its scheduled opening by the year 2025. Recently, the Philippine government has made a temporary solution to open up a airbase, the Sangli Point or Cavite Airport, just south of Manila in Cavite Province, to help alleviate the ongoing congestion at Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport, which is a subject of this video. Formerly a U.S. naval base, located around 12 kilometers south of Manila in Manila Bay, since 1971 it has served as a Philippine Air Force base named the Danilo Atienza Air Force Base. The area has been considered as one of the candidate locations for a new mega hub for the city of Manila, along with the Bulacan Airport project. However, with the pressing needs of the Philippine aviation industry, the Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte announced a mandate for the Sangli Airport to accommodate limited commercial air traffic, as well as general aviation traffic to help ease these pressures off of the Manila Nino Aquino Airport. That mandate came about during the summer of this year, with a six-month deadline to open up the airport for commercial traffic by the end of the year. Since the mandate was issued, work was ongoing for 24-7 during the last few months to put up over 480 million pesos worth of upgrades, which included work to upgrade the runway with a length of 2,400 meters, the addition of some navigation aids, and a passenger terminal and a parking area capable of accommodating up to five turboprop aircraft. Because it is located close to the water and prone to flooding, the construction also involved the installation of pumps and the seawall to keep water out, especially during times of high tide. With the work very much near completion, Philippine officials recently conducted a test flight along with Cebu Pacific, which used one of their ATR-72 turboprop aircraft as a cargo aircraft used by SEBGO which has been a reported success. In terms of operations and flights, Philippine government officials expect to shift general aviation including private aircraft and domestic flights operated on turboprop aircraft. So far, the only airline that has committed to open up flights to and from Sangli Point has been Cebu Pacific subsidiary Subgo, which will shift its domestic turboprop freighter operations to the airport. As for regularly scheduled commercial traffic with passengers, no official announcements from the airlines have been made including from Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific which operates ATR-72 as well as Bombardier Q300 and 400 aircraft. Other smaller Philippine-based carriers that operate small aircraft that could see service in Sangli including Air One, Air Swift, and Skyjet. While the runway length could accommodate a Airbus A320, it may not have the necessary equipment for an Airbus A320 flight, meaning that Air Asia, which does not operate turboprop aircraft, may not be able to put flights there. Potential routes operated by turboprop or small aircraft that could be seen at Sangli in the very near future could include flights to Cataclan, Buswanga, El Nido, Basco Batanes, and Siragao, and the airport could be used for additional turboprop services to and from Cebu or Davao or other major cities in the Philippines as an alternative link to Manila. These routes will be interpreted heavily by the demand that the airline perceives in terms of the travel demands to and from Manila and the willingness of travelers to make the trek from Manila or where they are at in Luzon to the Sangli airfield. Though it would probably appeal to those living in southern Luzon and those living in the area of Cavite, and the surrounding areas just south of the Manila Airport. To make travel to and from Sangli Airport more appealing for domestic travel, especially those living in the Manila area, the airlines may lower their fares to flights to and from the airport when compared to those from Manila right now. The Sangli Airport upgrades and the shift of some of the air traffic is a temporary fix to the Manila Airport congestion issues, and the local Cavite government is still pursuing plans to build a new mega hub airport, which will involve some land reclamation in Manila Bay. 
but more importantly to expand the capabilities of the current Sangley airfield to accommodate larger jets such as the Airbus A320s and A321s that Cebu Pacific Philippine Airlines and Philippines Air Asia operates. Now something to keep in mind as the aviation industry and the facilities expand in the Philippines especially from Manila will be the growing demands on the air traffic management systems of the Philippines. And with the prospect of three airports serving the area, Bulacan, Sangli, and Ninoy Aquino Airport, it may now be time to plan the future of the air traffic control systems and communications among airports in the Philippines. Now for Filipino travelers and especially those living in around the Manila area, would you be interested in using the Sangli Airport and what factors would influence your decision to do so or not? Thank you for watching. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene from the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.